Good morning. I'm not seeing any comments yet, but let me see if I can swipe. You all always tell me to swipe. I'm trying to swipe and I'm not seeing anything. It's all right. Mom, praise me this morning. Click like and share. I believe God's got a powerful word for us this morning. Come on, y'all. This means war. My friends. I won't. Mm -hmm. This means war. This means war. This means war. Come on, y'all. We're declaring war this morning. Come on, who can say that this morning? You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. You can't have my breakthrough. Uh-huh. You can't have my... I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. This means war. I'm trying to see the comments, but I'm not seeing anything yet, y'all. That's why I'm not saying good morning by name, but it's okay. Good morning to those of you who are here. I'm trying to swipe, but I can't swipe. But it's all good. Come on, just pray, pray to me this morning. As you're coming on, as you're praying, Click like, click share, let others know. We're decreeing and decre declaring war this morning. I'm going to play that one more time. That just went by just way too quick. Here we go. Uh-huh, here we go, here we go. Thank God it's Thursday, right? It's not Friday yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. God is in control. How many of you can say it this morning? Every day. Matter of the attack, I won't turn back. Because this means war. Come on, y'all. De decreeing and declaring war with me this morning. Okay, I see comments out there. I'll check in a little bit to see who's out there. But for right now, we just decree and declare war this morning. Mm-hmm. In control. All is well. Come on, as you're coming on, just pray with us this morning. I won't turn back. Because this means war. Come, how many of you can say, regardless of the attack? You're not turning back this morning. You're not turning back ever. Because God has brought us too far to turn back now. Amen. I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. Thank you to those of you that have already click share. Come on, click like and click share. Let people know that we are praising this morning and we about to get into a powerful word, y'all. I am positive that God has ordained this word for you today. Amen. This means war. Come on, y'all. 
Some of y'all are in a battle right now. You need to not run from the giant, but you need to run to the giant. I'd imagine that David had this song right here. This is what he'd be playing. As he got his slingshot and his stones ready, he would tell him, this means war. Come on, some of you fighting for your family. Some of you fighting for that increase right now. Ah, there, there it is. The comments just popped up. Yes. Morning, Sister Lucy. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Regina. Come on. Yes, come on. You pleading the blood with me. I plead, I plead the blood. Come on, we're in a war this morning. There's some things you got to fight for. Come on, we're pleading the blood this morning. I plead, I plead the blood. This means war. There's power in your praise. I know you don't feel like praising right now, but you gotta, you gotta press for your praise this morning. You gotta throw your hands up. You gotta open your mouth. You gotta do something. Get that praise this morning. Come on. I'm pressing this morning for some things that I'm believing God to do. Anybody with me? That you are praising this morning. There's some things that you need to see God do. And so this means war. Say that with me this morning. This means war. Put the enemy on notice. Let him know. Let him know that you are not giving up, that you are not giving in, that you are not giving out. Amen. Good morning, family, EP family. It's always so great to see you all and to be with you all. I'm excited about this word that God has for us today. I just thank God um, for who he is. I thank God for each and every one of you for showing up here today. And so let's just go on and pray. Father God, we just thank you. We thank you for this time together, God. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. We thank you, God, that you've given us the power through your son, Jesus Christ, that we can decree and declare war because the battle, the war is already won by you. So we thank you that, that because of what Jesus already did on the cross, we can say this means war because we know how this story turns out. So I thank you, God, for every person under the sound of my voice this morning, God. I thank you for the fresh word that you placed on my heart for those who are here today. I thank you, God, for the strength and the energy, the encouragement, and the inspiration that we are going to gain from your word today. Father God, I know some uh, people have showed up here this morning just by the skin of their teeth, that it took everything to be here today, and they just want to hear from you. So without further delay, Father God, hide me and bring forth your Holy Spirit. Spirit, to be the teacher. Bring forth your Holy Spirit to reach us right where we are, to inspire us, to strengthen us, to encourage us today. And we believe and we receive in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Brittany. Hey, uh, Coral. Hey, Auntie Kathy. Hey, everybody, Christine, Vaughn, it's so good to see you all this morning. Listen, if you haven't already done so, please click share, click like first on the video because sometimes we come in and just start commenting. So click like and then click share and let others know that we are here this morning. How many of you are ready to, <clears throat> to jump into the word of God if you're ready? Just say ready because I know that I'm ready and I, I just I thank God for the word uh, that he gave this morning. Um, I got up and, and I just began to um, pray saying, you know, God, what is it that you would have me to share this morning? And this is what he gave me with each and every one of you in mind. Hey, Sister Irene, good morning. Good morning. All right. So let me see. I'm going to, before I jump into the word, I'm going to come in here because I can't, uh, 
I'm not seeing the comments anymore, but it's all good. Hey, Kitty, a good morning. Okay, so y'all are ready. Sister Cheryl, Sister Suzette, awesome. Sister Betty, good morning, good morning. Praise God. Okay, all right, so um, um, I'm not seeing the comments, but you know, I told you all, we, we just going to flow together anyway, and we're going to go ahead and jump into this powerful word uh, that God has given me. Uh, to share with you, to, to just encourage and enlighten your hearts this morning. So go with me uh, to the book of Genesis, and we are going to read Genesis uh, chapter 50, verse 20. This is a very familiar scripture to many of you, and um, but I like what God has given me to share with you this morning. Uh, Genesis 50, 20, and I am going to uh, read from two translations and then we are going to jump into what God told me to share with you. All right, Genesis 50 and 20, hear the word of God. You intended to harm me, but God intended all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position. Somebody say this position. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. Let's look at it in one more translation. This translation is the voice. This is Joseph speaking. It says, even though you intended to harm me, God intended it only for good. Mm, mm, mm. God intended it only for good and through me, listen, and through me, he preserved the lives of countless people as he is still doing today. Through me, through you, Sister Irene, through you, Sister Lucy, through you, Suzette, through you, Kitty, through you, God preserved the lives of countless people as he is still doing today. I want to speak to you from the title, What's for Me is for Me. Say that with me this morning. What's for me is for me. Come on, I need you to say that this morning and I need you to mean it and I want you to own it and I want you to believe it. What's for me is for me. Listen, y'all, in this, uh, when Joseph says this in this scripture, he's speaking after he's been through some things. Do I have anybody this morning that you have been through some things? Come on, anybody? I've been through some things. I've been through the fire. I've been through some things. That, you know, you've been through some things that, that when you look back and you and you recognize that this, this thing that tried to take you out did not succeed but for God, you have been through some things. Come on, some of you, you there was an accident that happened in your life and it, 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 that the enemy wanted to use. He knew how powerful God would use you. He knew that you would be the one to break generational curses. He knew you'd be the one to start that ministry, to start that business in your family. He knew that you would be the one. And so he tried to take you out in, in an accident. Come on, anybody know what I'm talking about? An illness that the enemy meant for evil, but God, right? That divorce that you didn't think you'd be able to rebound from, that you didn't think you were going to be able to come back from, that you thought that you would, you know, that you, it was all over, that you completely lost yourself in that person. So you had to re regain yourself. You had to find who you were all over again. Come on, that loss of that job, you, you, you thought it was over, but God, I'm talking to somebody this morning, that, that loss of a parent, the loss of a child, 
You understand that I cannot even imagine, but the people that I speak with, the friends that I have, the family that I have, it, it is a, a, a terrible thing for a parent to lose a child and you did not know how and if you could come back from it, but here you are still standing. That foreclosure, that, that home that you worked so hard to get into and, and then you had to give it up, but look at you, you are still standing standing and as a result of what God did for you and through you others were encouraged come on somebody others were saved others were healed others were motivated others were inspired because God turned what the enemy meant for evil, what the enemy meant for destruction, uh, what the enemy meant for annihilation, God took that and he used it for good. Listen, Joseph went through, but he came through. Come on, you went through, but I need you to say, I went through, but I came through. Come on, you went through, but you came through. In fact, you're, some of you are still coming through. And you, if that's you, you go on and say, I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I need you to decree and declare that today. A couple of things uh, that Joseph went through and came through and overcame because of of. What, what was for Joseph was for Joseph, that even though it appeared the plan may have gotten a little derailed. Come on, anybody know what I'm talking about? That your plans have been derailed, that the things that the way you planned it, like you look at life right now and maybe where you are right now, you're like, this is not how I planned it. This is not where I saw myself at 40, whatever, at 50, whatever. This is not how I planned it. But God. Joseph didn't plan the stuff he went through, but guess what? God already knew and God already had a way to get him back into the plan that he had for him. Help me, Holy Ghost. Couple of things I believe that Joseph went through that we can all relate to. The first thing is that Joseph was misunderstood. Do I have anybody on here that you have been misunderstood? Huh? Huh? That, that, that you have some folk around you uh, that they, they just don't get you. Um, <laughs> you know, that what you're carrying, what you're doing, what you're embarking upon is, is just, it's just too big for others to handle. Some folk just can't handle what God is doing in you and through you and for you. Uh, for some folk, it's, it just seems too complicated. But guess what? You don't have time to explain. You don't have time to explain. You don't have time to give them a blow by blow. Uh, you don't have a time to connect the dots with them. You don't have time to give them a one, two, three and an ABC. You don't have time because you're being obedient. You're doing what God is telling you to do. For some of you right now, what God is doing, it requires is what? A foolish faith. A faith that appears foolish to others, but it's okay. God didn't tell it to them. He told it to you, but just, it doesn't change the fact that you are misunderstood, right? People look at you and they, I, I don't get her. I don't get him. I don't think it takes all that. I don't believe they can do it. Misunderstood. That's that's, that's what Joseph went through. He was misunderstood. Another thing that Joseph went through is that he was lied on. Right? If you all read Joseph's uh, story, um, you know, uh, 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 Potiphar's wife wanted to lie with Joseph. In other words, she had she wanted to have sex with him, y'all. She wanted him. She was lusting after him. And 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 Joseph knew that he had he, he was on a mission. He was called by God that he had a purpose and the purpose was not to sleep with her. Don't let other people uh drag you into what they want you to do and cause you to miss your purpose. Cause you to see that's a distraction. Somebody said distraction. She was a distraction. She came in. Can you imagine if Joseph Joseph slowed down long enough to be with her. He would have missed what God was trying to do. And so she wanted him to get with her. And when he said no, she went ahead and lied on him anyway. And as a result of that, he was thrown into prison. Do I have anybody on here? Um, <clears throat> 
that after somebody did all they could to bring you down, to take you down, to knock you down, <clears throat> they ended up lying on you. Anybody on here ever been lied on? When nothing else worked, they gossiped. They talked about you. Come on, I'm, I'm talking to somebody. When nothing else worked, they slandered your name. They slandered your reputation. They said you did something you didn't do. They said you said something that you didn't say, lied upon. People do things out of, you know, when people realize that they can't, they can't do anything about what God is doing in your life. They can't, they can't snuff out your shine. Uh, they can't. <clears throat> They can't, uh, you know, they can't discourage you. They can't derail you. Then, then they try the next thing. Uh, when we um, have talked about it before, when Nehemiah was on the wall, he was all about the the uh, God's work. He was he was taking care of business, y'all. And and so they they were trying to stop him from building the wall. Somebody's trying to stop you from building the wall. Somebody's trying to stop you from doing what thus saith the Lord. Somebody's trying to stop you from advancing into what God has for you. And so they tried to get him to stop building the wall. And when <clears throat> all the other uh, attempts that they made failed, then they lied. Anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? That some folks that they just flat out lied. They 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 talked about you. They said some things that was not true. So listen, I need you to say, even though they lied on me, and even though I may be misunderstood, I need you to say it this morning that what God has for me is for me. Go on and say what you want to say. Go on and try what you want to try. Go on and whisper whatever you're going to whisper. Go on and tell folk and, and say, go, go on and do all those things. But what God has for me is for me. And you better know it this morning. So I said Joseph was misunderstood. Uh, Joseph was lied on. And, and Joseph was forgotten. <laughs> Listen, while he was in prison, Joseph interpreted a dream for the Pharaoh and the cupbearer told, when he told the, the uh, Pharaoh, Joseph's interpretation, this says so foul, the, the cupbearer gave Joseph's interpretation. <clears throat> he was restored to his position, but he told Joseph that when he was restored, that he would put in a good word with the Pharaoh, that he would let the Pharaoh know, uh, you know, to, to, to restore Joseph as well, to get Joseph out of prison. But the Bible tells us that once the cupbearer was restored, he forgot about Joseph. Is there anybody here who been who you you feel like you've been forgotten? You ever helped somebody? You ever gave somebody a hand up? Help me, Holy Ghost. You prayed for them. You cried with them. Maybe you loaned them some money. And once they got their feet back under them, once they got back into position, uh, once they got back good, once they were elevated, they didn't even think about you. They forgot all about you. But I need you to say this morning if that is you that what God has for me is for me remember I said in the beginning uh, that Joseph went through but he came through so you might be going through but you need to know you're going to come through because that's what this scripture says that even though the enemy may have meant it for evil even though the enemy may have meant it to bring you down to take you out that God has a way. Somebody say, God has a way. We don't need to know what the way is because we're not God. We're, we just need to trust God. That God has a way of turning what the enemy wants to use for evil. Even the people that the enemy uses. God has a way of turning things around for our good. What God has for me is for me. So what did I say? I said, Joseph was misunderstood. Uh, Joseph was lied on. Joseph was even forgotten. I believe I'm talking to some people this morning that you can see yourself in one of those three. But here's the other thing. Uh, Joseph had favor. Somebody said, I got favor. Uh, it's, it's, it's cool to have the favor of man, but it is way better to have the favor of God. You got favor with God. And when you have favor with God, God's favor is everything. But I just want to warn you today that favor isn't always fair. 
And what I'm saying is that it, it would be great if, if having the favor of God will help us to kind of avoid some things and, and help us to sidestep some things and not be in the middle of mess and, and not be looked upon a certain way and not to be talked about and, and not to be misunderstood. But sometimes favor attracts haters. I'm trying to talk to somebody this morning. Sometimes favor attracts naysayers. I sometimes favor attract people who just don't understand you, who just won't get you, and it's okay because it wasn't them that gave you the favor. It was God who gave you the favor, and Joseph had favor, and guess what? In the midst of what he was going through, his favor still pointed to God's purpose for him, and that's what I want to encourage you today, that what God has for you is for you, because the favor that is on your life, it still points to your, your purpose, even after you have been misunderstood, even after you have been forgotten, even after you have been lied on, even after you have been mistreated, even after all of that, your favor still points to your purpose. God has a way of turning everything negative, everything painful that you have gone through and turning it around and using it for, for your good and for his glory, that somehow he will still be glorified in that. And, and you need to know that. It's not just, don't just look, look at what he's already done. The same God that did it is the same God that will do it right now. What God has for you is for you. Stop, stop whining and complaining about what other people have done and feeling like man can't take what God has for you. Man can't stop it. Man can't block it. The enemy, as powerful as he is, he can't change God's plan for you, but he can get you distracted. And that's what you have to be careful about. Don't get distracted by folk that's lying. Don't get distracted by folk that's not supporting, that don't understand. Those are distractions. Don't get distracted by folk that are saying stuff that's not true. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted by people who don't believe. People who look at your foolish faith and they say, oh, it, it don't take all of that. I don't know if she's hearing from God. I don't know if he's hearing from God. Don't get distracted. It's a distraction. You're the only one that can cause yourself to be derailed from the purpose of God because God sits high and he sees you. You are on track. Somebody say, I'm on track. That's why you don't want to get distracted. Well, Sister Ann, you don't know what I've been through. You are on track. You don't know what I'm going through. You're on track. Just stay. Stay on track. Why? Because what God has for you is for you. Being misunderstood, <clears throat> being forgotten, being cast aside, all of that. God knows how to turn all of that around for your good. But you got to trust God. And you got to don't forfeit it because you're getting caught up in the, all the distractions and all the noise around you. Regardless to what happened in Joseph's life, the favor that was on him at the very beginning, it was the favor that continued to be on him all throughout all he went through and all the way to where God had placed him in an incredible position to completely change the lives of others. And that is what God is doing in you. <clears throat> you know, what's interesting was, is the very thing, help me, Holy Ghost, that Joseph's brothers tried to snuff out and try to kill and try to get rid of, they ended up meeting that. <laughs> Don't 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 be distracted by what folk don't understand and don't get about you. There's going to come a day that they're going to need exactly what you have. That business, they're going to need what you're selling. That ministry, they're going to need what you're serving. Help me, Holy Ghost. You understand that, that prayer warrior in you that God is building up, they're going to need your prayers. Come on, somebody. The, the very thing that they look at you and say, oh, yeah, it, that ain't God and it don't take all of that. At some point, just like Joseph's brothers, they needed the very thing that they that that they were trying to snuff out. Going back to the scripture, you intended to harm me, 
but God preserved the lives of countless people as he's still doing today. God intended it only for good. And through me, somebody say through me, and through me, because you intended to harm me, God intended it only for good. And through me, through you, Veronica, through you, Daniela, through you, Kitty, through you, through you, Suzette. Come on, somebody. Somebody say that this morning. Through me and through you, God preserved and will preserve the lives of countless people. And stop thinking that you are going to be able to identify. It, it doesn't. Don't stop looking and counting and, and okay, well, you know, I'm impacting this person. No, just, just live your life trusting God and being obedient and leave the people to God. You know, I, feel, I strongly in my spirit right now, and thank you, Father God, that there's somebody on here that, you know, you're, you're frustrated. Show me how to share this, God. You're frustrated with a particular person. This is a person that you have been praying for, that you have been believing for. And, and, and right now, it doesn't look like anything is happening. It doesn't look like they're getting what you have been trying to pour into them. But God told me to tell you that you need to take your eyes off of looking for the evidence. That's it. God say, stop looking for the evidence. I'm working on them. You just keep being obedient. You keep doing what I'm telling you to do. Even though it may not look like anything's happening, leave the look like up to me. That's what God is telling me to tell somebody. That because it doesn't look like it, you're tempted to believe that what God is, has, has been showing you and what he's told you he's going to do is not going to happen. But God told me to tell you, stop taking your cues from what it looks like and you just be obedient and do what he's telling you to do and at some point it will be manifested but you are not to take cues from the fact that it has not manifested yet as a sign to quit to stop that was for somebody I feel that deep in my spirit today so father God we thank you for this word we thank you God that what you have for us is for us what you have for me is for me. Help me to not get uh, sideswiped, distracted by the naysayers, by the non-supporters, by the people who aren't convinced, by the people who don't understand, uh, even the people that mistreat, the people that walk away, the people that say things I didn't say. All of that, Father God, we just bind all those distractions right now in the name of Jesus, like that song says, this means war. Devil, you cannot have my family. You cannot have our breakthrough. You cannot have our finances. You cannot have our marriages. You cannot have our singleness. You cannot have our housing situation. You cannot have our school situation, our job situation. Help me, Holy Ghost, our ministry, our business, you cannot have it. You cannot have the success of it. So, Father God, we just speak out of, out of our mouth with the authority of Jesus. We cancel every scheme, every plot, every plan of the enemy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot have my health, devil, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. Help us today. That whatever we are facing, whatever we're up against, that this scripture will ring back to us throughout the day, throughout the weekend, throughout the rest of all of next week, all of this month, all of this year, God. That we will remember that even though the enemy means things for evil, God, you have a way of turning it around for our good so that you will get the glory. What is for me is for me. And we thank you for your favor, God, your favor that points to our purpose all day and every day. And Father, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory that rightfully belongs to you. We thank you that this word did not fall on deaf ears. We thank you, Father God, that it is accomplishing even right now what you have sent it to do. We believe and we receive 
In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Y'all, I, I, let me go in and see if I can see um, comments because I have not been able to see any comments the whole time, but it's all good. I know y'all are here. So listen, a couple of quick things I want to share with you. Um, first thing, <clears throat> um, if you have the foolish, our foolish Facebook, can you all please do me a favor and go to Amazon and leave a review, please. It helps when other people come and want to know if they should buy the book. Also, if you have the book, take a picture of yourself and send it to me. Inbox me or email me or whatever. Um, please send it to me because we, we, you know, as you all see, we, we put your pictures out there. And we also pray for each of you. Um, that have the book because we're just believing for your foolish faith to unlock everything that God has for you this year. Amen. And <clears throat> uh, finally, um, we're going to be spending some family time this weekend, so I will not be doing a live tomorrow. I wanted to let you all know that so y'all are not blowing up um, my inbox tomorrow morning like, hey, sis Ann, is everything okay? Unfortunately, no lie tomorrow when I'm believing that this word that God had me to share with you today will take you through tomorrow and into the weekend. If I appreciate your prayers for us as we do a little bit of traveling, but we're spending some family time, some much needed family time, and I'm excited about that. Um, so I, I, I just, I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank you for our encouragement and prayer family that every time I turn on this uh, iPad and I go live, there you are. When I show up, you're already there and I thank God for you. So listen, um, I do pray that you all have an amazing resurrection uh, weekend, Easter weekend, um, <laughs> because Jesus got up, we can get up, amen. I, I just, I thank God that the cross was not the end of the story. Mm, mm, mm. So listen, uh, don't forget to click share. I love each and every one of you. God willing, we will be back together again next week. Please don't forget to leave your reviews. Please don't forget to send me pictures. Thank you for your prayers in advance. And know that we are um, always praying for you. Love you all so much, y'all. Okay, so I'm seeing comments. Sister Suzette, Sister Lucy, praise God. Um, yes, Sister Suzette, we are still meeting tonight. So those of you that are part of the Bad Girl Study, we are still meeting tonight. Thank you, Sister Carol. I appreciate that. Karina, praise God. Joy, God bless you. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen, Sister Carol. God bless you. It's great to see you all on here this morning, Sister Betty. Prayerfully, this message minister to each and every one of you. Thank God for his word. It is everything, y'all. Hey, Cord, God bless you. Hopefully, we'll see you tonight, beloved. All right, love you all. Have a blessed, amazing, terrific Thursday. It's almost Friday, y'all. So let's just, let's get it done today. Love you all. Hey, Ty, God bless you, brother. All right, love you all. Have a blessed Thursday.